Well, I'm sure you all know where Turkey stands economically. It's one of the biggest uh, economic powers it has become in the world, number 16. But unfortunately, when we look at social and human development, it is unfortunately one of the lowest in the world. I'm not going to go into details, but uh, by adult literacy, by woman empowerment, it is beyond, behind many less developed powers or empowers in the world. Gender equality does not exist in this country. Literacy is very low. Enrollment of children, especially girls in the schools, very low. So being economically strong, unfortunately, doesn't lead 75 million population to become socially strong and developed country. The state doesn't do this. The governments have not been successful in achieving this. So maybe there's something that the citizens can do. The structure of the society has lots of difficulties in civil engagement. It's a suppressed society. It starts from the family culture, as you know. Sus küçüğüm, söz büyüğüm. You're a child, you shut up, you listen to what the adults have to say. That's where the culture starts. And in school, classrooms, you shut up, you listen to me, says the teacher, and memorization goes and goes. When you become a citizen, it's the state suppressing the citizens, not serving the citizens as the state should, but enforcing some whatever ideologies. So it's a suppressed society. There is, on the other hand, Lack of confidence for civil society organization in the country. Maybe fears of citizens from what had happened previously. Maybe out of bad performance, unreliable performance of associations and foundations previously, trying to sub push in some hidden agendas. But there has been a lot of lack of confidence for civil society organizations and they have not been transparent. They have not been accountable to the society. So as a result, there has been a lot of problems in creating resources for civil society organizations. When you look in the country, 75 million population, we have a total of 95,000 civil organizations, foundations plus associations. Let's remember that 75 million has only 95,000. Only in the United States there is more than 1.5 million CSOs, civil society organizations. Look at Sweden with a population of 8.5 million. There is 190,000 civil society organizations. So Turkey, I don't want to bother you with lots of figures, Turkey, Turkey is lacking behind many countries with civil organizations. But there's a big opportunity in this country. Big opportunity. It has a very young population. 60% of the population is less than 30 years of age. When compared with European countries, OECD countries, this is the biggest, I think, advantage of the country. There's a lot that we can do if we can motivate the young population. The awareness and need for participation 
is developing among the citizens. Demand for voluntary activity is increasing because of the technology and communication, awareness is developing. And as a result of this, we thought that there's much that we could do by motivating uh, young people and getting them involved in community service activities. So we started our foundation 10 years ago and instead of all the fears, instead of all the suppression and not feeling any confidence in young people because the society sees young people as a threat, potential threat for any disorderly organization. They see them as a threat for starting a terrorist activity, whatever. So the universities suppress them. Don't get involved in any civil society activity. That's the motto. So we started, it was a challenge for us, we started organizing <coughs> these youth groups focusing on community service. At the end of nine years, we have organized our community service projects in nearly 97 campuses. And every year, nearly 25,000 university students develop some 750, some 800 different projects. They go renovate schools in the villages. They redesign public libraries. They go deliver uh, training programs for uh, women empowerment, training and education support for street children, children who work in the street. They do several projects. The important thing is that it is the young people who decide what the local need is as community service. We, as adults, don't impose any project to the young people. So this is what we call empowering them. Once you start empowering and giving confidence to young people, they get the ownership, they get the responsibility, they start implementing, fundraising, and following up the projects. So we started national, local, we grew to national, and then we started international projects. Yale University is one of the American universities which has very close connection with our foundation. They send a lot of uh, interns to us every year for the last five, six years. Many European countries, they started establishing similar organizations and we started getting uh, in serious relationship with them. And it has become the leading organization, youth organization, in the country just in nine years. Well, this is just one of the projects, as Zeynep said, that I'm not uh, only involved in youth empowerment, I have other projects uh, that uh, I led, uh, educational training, Providing training for public school teachers has been one big project also which was initiated by me and because we thought that Turkish, we, after I studied, I found out that Turkish public school teachers, total of 650,000, half of them do not get any professional development during their entire career. No professional training, half. The other half, which is more lucky, gets maximum one or two training programs during their uh, whole career. So we thought that in a fast changing world, this is a requirement. If we want to do something for the 
next generation. So I have presented, prepared a project. Now, we started it three years ago. Now it has become biggest partner for National Ministry of Education. We are the ones who are providing uh, professional development programs for National Ministry of Education. They are cooperating with us. In only two and a half years, we have provided professional development training for nearly 50,000 public school teachers. We have 20 full-time trainers. We have 210 part-time trainers, and we provide these trainers to all around the country. Uh, this is another project. What I believe is that it is only, as Nasu said, civil society, if we trust, we can do it. If we leave it to the state, which we call the father of the nation, that's the tradition, Devlet Baba, that doesn't happen. It is more the civil society, if we properly are able to organize it, we can do it. So I'll cut it here, and I will leave it to Matthias.